We're really excited today to be here at the, the third opening of a One City, One Library location in Worcester. Our kids don't access the public library on a regular basis. It's just too far for them to go to the downtown library. And so there's been a lot of excitement that has been building over the last year. After the first week of this library opening, you could see the difference in bus dismissal line. Every child had a brand new book and we're excited to be reading that read at dismissal time rather than sitting and talking and it was really exciting. There is a sense of pride I think with this library that the kids feel. The first group of students who came in, they just had these smiles on their faces like they couldn't believe that this was really their library. I feel like I'm very lucky to be in this school so I can enjoy all the books. So this is the first kind of renaissance of libraries back out in the neighborhoods and in their elementary schools, and people are voting with their feet. That clearly is you know, reaffirming our belief that there was a need, there was a desire, uh, there was a constituency out there for these kind of services. It's been a community vision of how do we regenerate elementary libraries, how do we reopen branch libraries, and today we get a chance to celebrate something that's unique and phenomenal in this community. I couldn't be more proud to lead these schools and to be a significant part of this effort to reopen our libraries. We could not have opened now our third library if we didn't have the support of the local community, the business community, the not-for-profit community, supporting the library, the schools, and the city in these efforts. We were approached about the One City, One Library project and found it to be an excellent collaboration of groups across the city. It aligned very closely with our mission to help create libraries and public schools. Everybody wants to support the students in this city and we're very proud to play a big part in that. Our United Way is focused on increasing the graduation rate, but we know that that's a strategy that has to start in the first five years and then the elementary school grades and then the middle school grades. By funding Lilly, and being part of One City, One Library, we're going to be able to touch every child in this city, getting them more access to books, encouraging reading, promoting literacy, and giving them a world. For the medical school, it was very exciting because we, we look at Worcester as our home community. This is really all about making sure there's opportunities for our kids. It's also about workforce training. The reality is students, at this point, need to be highly skilled in order to compete in this economy. To reach that point, you've got to have a good education. You've got to be literate. The level of your education will determine your health status. And reading at grade level by grade three determines your sort of educational accomplishment through your life. We think success in school really matters to your health, so any opportunity to enrich literacy in a community really is important. I love how um, you just don't have to come in during the school days, you can also come after school. And if you didn't find what you're looking for in the six hours that we're here, you can come back with your family and friends. I like how the staff is so like enthusiastic and that we get new books every single time. We have taught the kids how to place holes on books, so if we don't have them in our location, we can get them from anywhere in Massachusetts, which is very exciting. And then when we say, hey, your book have arrived, they're like, oh my gosh, and so they jump around like it's Christmas time. Sometimes when we come down here, someone has just read a book, they put it right on that shelf over there to return it, and then someone else is just like, ooh, can I have this one? It's like we all want to read like each other's books, and it's just really nice. All our children need to be prepared for the 21st century. They need to be college and career ready, and you can't be college and career ready unless you can read on grade level. And our target is to get all of our students on grade level by the third grade. And the only way to do that is by getting books into their hands. We all know kids who read succeed. If we can grab the kids early and teach them how to read and read well, I think we're going to see a different community in years to come. It was a book, My Side of the Mountain, I think it was called, about the Catskill Mountains. This kid who escaped to the Catskill from New York City. And I remember when I was about 10 years old, I was absolutely obsessed with that book. The most fabulous book that I remember from when I was picking my own books was Little Women and Jo March and her writing and all of her adventures with her sisters. I remember really enjoying Curious George and the Curious George books. Uh, I still have uh, one of those books on my bookshelf to date. The book that I probably remember the most is Make Way for Ducklings. Uh, which has just become, you know, it's an iconic book in New England. You go to the Boston Public Garden, you can see the ducks there. I took my nieces there, 
so it, it really is kind of one of those things that have spanned multiple generations. The One City, One Library, uh, the whole initiative is very important to Worcester reading. Uh, and if we can get those in all school locations, I think that would be fabulous. <laughs>